Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, welcome to week three of the Pantry Freezer Challenge. Really easy dinner tonight. I had to get an injection, steroid injection in my hand, and so, um, still kind of swollen and in pain so i didn't feel like doing a lot of cooking but in my freezer i had this mac and cheese from trader joe's we really like it a lot so um, i split that serving in half for howard and i harrison is going to eat something else for dinner he's not a not into mac and cheese and then i also decided to try out these gluten-free breaded shrimp it says a uh, thin gluten-free breading. Now we are not gluten-free, but I got these because everyone said that they are really good and very crunchy. I made them in the air fryer. Here are the ingredients on the back here. Um, and I really like them a lot. Howard just said they're okay, but I like them a lot. Very thin breading, really good flavor. They don't taste gluten-free. I would definitely buy these again. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making tortilla beef bake. In my casserole dish, I have some crushed up tortilla chips and you may notice that they're different colors because this recipe calls for crushed tortilla chips. And usually I make this recipe when I have just odds and ends of tortilla chips. So I had two different bags and that's what you see in the bottom of the casserole dish. To that, I am adding some ground beef that I cooked along with some cream of chicken soup. It looks a little soupier than normal because the recipe called for a pound and a half of ground beef and I used less than that. And next, all you have to do is pour two cups of your favorite salsa right on top. And I'll make course of short, I'll make sure, of course, to leave the recipe in the description box. And next you just top it with cheddar cheese. Now I am going to pop this in the oven and bake it for about half an hour or until that cheese is nice and bubbly. Okay, so here is our dinner. I let the casserole cook for half an hour. It's not the prettiest dish, but it is very tasty. Serving it with some corn and some charro beans. I wasn't thinking, but I already put the charro bean can in the recycle, but these beans are from HEB. And they come with onions and all sorts of seasonings and so forth. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having crescent roll pizza. In my fridge, I had this tube of Butterflake crescent rolls. I just pressed them together, par baked that crust for about five minutes, took it out, put it on some pizza sauce, some Italian blend cheese and pepperoni. Of course, I had everything on hand. And if you like crescent roll pizzas, I do have a video for a breakfast crescent roll pizza that is really good, and I'll link it in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having chicken rice aroni casserole. Now this is a dish that I have made on our channel before, and I will link that video in the description box so you all can have the recipe. Of course, I had everything on hand. We're also having some leftover broccoli, and then we are having some Trader Joe's crescent rolls that I had in my freezer. You all know how much I love those crescent rolls. They're frozen and they are the mini version. They are so good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making black bean chili. Really easy recipe, calls for pantry um, ingredients. In my pot here, I have um, one pound of breakfast sausage, some onions and garlic, and I just cooked them up and browned them. You just saw me add in some chicken broth. Now I am adding in a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes, and I'm gonna add in three cans of black beans undrained.
Now I'm going to add in the equivalent of one package of taco seasoning. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir and let it all combine. So here is the chili. This is a really thin chili, so it's not like a thick and hearty chili. But this is Howard's bowl. He's eating his with some rice and avocado. I'm just gonna eat mine plain as is. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.